In this experiment, we will show you how to make a paper cup float. First, we're gonna need a real glass of water. Paper clips naturally sink because their density is more than the water's. But now we're gonna show you how to make a paper clip float. First, you take a piece of paper towel and place it gently on the top of the water. Wait a few seconds. Then take a paper clip and place it on the paper towel. Next, push the paper down with your two index fingers. This should make the paper clip float. The paper clip isn't actually floating, but more resting on top of the water's surface tension. When you add hand soap to the water's surface tension, it strongly reduces it, making the paper clip sink. Let's try the same experiment with a stone. Will it work? So first, we put the paper towel on the water. Then we take the pebble and place it on top of the paper towel. This doesn't work because the density of the rock is much more than the water's density. Here's another experiment to demonstrate surface tension. Keep dropping coins into a glass of water. You should now be able to see that the water has flown over the top of the glass. This is because of its surface tension. What happens when you add soap? This experiment will show you how to make the make a paper paper. Darn it! Why does the rock sink? Because it feels like a cheese. No, because the density of the rock is greater than the density of the water. Yeah, This should work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Wait, I want to add something. Oh crap! 